So leave it up a challenge test or uh, you know an application known as a LCT which it is a internationally accepted standardized assessment which helps to identify patients who have Parkinson's disease amongst this spectrum of people who are suffering from Parkinsonism. Once a person is already diagnosed with a Parkinson's disease, usually this test is prescribed to identify if this pers uh, person or uh, you know, the patient can lead a better quality of life with pharmacological uh, management, you know, changes in the dosage of the medication or can he be suggested a functional neurosurgery or uh, you know, a deep brain stimulator for, a, for leading a better quality of life. Usually a levodopa challenge test is suggested to people who have you know the cardinal features of Parkinson's disease to confirm if there are any additional symptoms which have not been identified before. When, when we look at Parkinson's disease, uh, usually what people look for is tremors. That means shaking of the hand, you know, shaking of the jaw, right? And, and uh, you know, uh, next if you go to, you have posture instability. So when they're sitting, they're, you know, bent most of the time or uh, they try to, you they have a tendency to fall back. They can't maintain the posture properly. Okay. Third is rigidity. They, they, they want to move. See, this is a normal hand moving. They may move with some rigidity. They are not able to move freely. So they feel a lot of restriction in movement. Apart from that, most of these people, they have non-motor symptoms, you know, like uh, they may have constipation, uh, they may have emotional instability and so on, so on and so forth. So when we do a levodopa challenge test, it allows us to assess all these points in detail and we are able to establish what is the functionality of the patient. Others who have already, you know, who already have a diagnosis which is given by a doctor, they want to know over the span of time or, you know, over the years through which the patient has gone through, uh, through this disease, has the condition stabilized, has it worsened or does the patient need any additional intervention? So they also suggest the patient to go through a levodopa challenge just in that case. In, uh, for functional neurosurgeons, when, when they want to decide if the patient is going to benefit from the functional neurosurgery, they refer the patient for a levodopa challenge test. So the idea is the best response in the test is the best response they may expect from the functional neurosurgery. Preparation for levodopa challenge test, a person who is suggested a levodopa challenge test needs to go through a fixed protocol. This protocol includes a time period of minimum 12 hours where the patient is kept off his medications which he takes for his Parkinson's disease or Parkinsonism related symptoms. Once the patient is off the medication, we do a office evaluation where we expect or we anticipate the patient is in the worst situation. Uh, following his disease. That means he may have the maximum amount of tremors, maximum rigidity, maximum difficulty in moving, you know, maximum difficulty in expressing and speaking. Following the office evaluation, which, which is uh, done using, you know, uh, the unified Parkinson's disability rating scale, we give a supra dose. That means either the dose is double or 1.5 times the dose, the medication, the dose of the medication which the patient takes in the morning. We wait for at least 45 minutes to an hour or we keep asking the patient during that time, is he experiencing any change uh, after the supra dose? For example, some people may say they are feeling a little anxious, some people may say they are feeling palpitations, other actually feel good with the additional dose and they feel that, you know, my movement is better, I am more stable. So after that duration of 45 minutes to an hour, Either the patient recognizes a difference or not, we do the on-face evaluation. The same evaluation is repeated to compare when the patient was off the medication and to compare when the patient is on an extra dose of the medication. The levodopa challenge test, it uh, requires the patient and the caregiver to give a brief gist or brief understanding of how the journey has been during the disease or the progression of, of worsening of the disease. 
Thereafter, once we collect the information in a systematic way, we go ahead and uh, apply the unified Parkinson's disability rating scale. This scale, the total score, go, uh, total score of the UPDRS is 108. It has four components, uh, which means you will be asked questions and you will be asked to rate yourself on each question on a score of 0 to 4 based on your experience in the last one week. So it's very easy for you to remember and you know answer it. What are we asking in this particular assessment is your experience of how you are participating in your day to day life self care. We are asking about uh, how is your experience when you are participating in your day to day life self care. We are asking about your movement. How are your movements and you know each movement is signifies uh, uh, important part uh, of the evaluation and then we are looking for how much is the fluctuation means uh, uh, you know some people uh, suppose if you have taken the medication how much are you able to identify that the medication is really producing a difference for you uh, and you know what kind of complications, uh, complications are you seeing if you have taken the medication. So these are the areas uh, which you will have to answer some of the movements you will have to you know uh, do it physically do it and we will take videos of that to show you how you have done as well as to compare. Usually when uh, UPDRS is applied, it is uh, you know a 28 page form which we have to physically fill and score it. What we have done at our institute is digitalize this so that we can quickly fill the data based on the actual assessment tool and prepare a automated report from that data. Now the advantage of digitalizing it is it allows us to compare the scores between on and off phase instantaneously. It allows us to compare the better or the versus side means is your right hand better or is your left hand better, is your hand better than the leg. So all that gives a very clear picture to the uh, movement disorder specialist or the functional neurosurgeon as to what should they target for. Once the Levodopa challenge test is complete and we have prepared the report, that means we have the scores and we have understood which side is better, which side is worse and uh, you know how much is the difference of scores. We will be able to explain you in person what uh, are we anticipating and the easier way to understand is the difference of score you know uh, between the off phase and on phase, the more it is the better is the prognosis for you. What the Movement Disorder Society, which is the international society says is, those who have a score of less than 30 out of 108 in the off phase, they are not disabled enough to go through a surgical procedure. But those who have a score of more than 30 out of 108 in the on phase, they are too severely disabled to go through a surgical procedure. For both of them, Neuro rehabilitation and pharmacological uh, management is advised. For any disease, it is very important to diagnose and prognosticate it well because it helps to understand uh, for you how you would go through the journey of recovery. So this levodopa challenge test is not only to decide do you need a surgery or do you need medicine but also to help you understand how you can recover out of this or what is the prognosis for you uh, based on the scoring. Thank you for viewing this video. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos and do share your comments to let us know.